Well, it's Thursday morning. We're here at Caulfield on the eve of the start of the Melbourne Festival of Racing. All's quiet here now, but that won't be the case at 3.40 on Saturday when Black Caviar heads into this mounting yard here with their rivals in the Sporting Bet CF4 stakes. It's going to be a sea of people here trackside, uh, tens of thousands. We're looking forward to seeing her chase her 18th win on end. She's stepping up to 1,400 metres for the first time. It's the annual family day here at Caulfield and the club have thrown open the gates. It's a pretty special event, uh, but that's why we've thrown the gates open. I mean, her future is, uh, is uh, shrouded in doubt in terms of where she goes. We want all the people of uh, Victoria, country, city, provincial, everyone to have a chance to see this mayor. We've made a commitment to that, so we're throwing the gates open and let's have a great day. As has become tradition, Peter Moody welcomed the media to his stables on the eve of Black Caviar's appearance and he's quite excited to finally get her out to 1,400 metres. It's something I've always talked up and uh, wanted to see happen. I've always felt that she'd be uh, just as explosive, if not more so, uh, out to 1400 and uh, I've suggested even possibly a mile so this is a step in that direction uh, on Saturday. Well, you know I just want to see how she goes about it. Uh, we're not, she's not going to be running records or big margins. Uh, but see, I've got every confidence in her ability to run it but uh, to go there you know horses like Southern Speed are going to be coming at you the last furlong. That's I don't it. think anything's effortless and, and the fact that Luke's leased, eased it down uh, it's only been a matter of strides, and the time she's run suggested that she's never had a soft run in her life, this mare. People look at it and say, God, she's gone easy, but the times suggest otherwise. And despite her prohibitive odds and her outstanding record, he's got a healthy respect for the opposition coming into the Ore Stakes. We always respect the opposition. Like Southern Speed's a hell of a good mare and, uh, and a Caulfield Cup winner and resumed fantastic the other day with 60-odd kilos on her back against the pattern. So uh, uh, a few of the others... Uh, you know, probably looking for a lot further and uh, and a couple of uh, on paces there to make it a genuine race in Dan's Island and Doubtful Jack, so it should be a tidy race. And on paper the assignment looks quite a nice one for Black Caviar. She's got some pace in the race here and she should be able to sit just behind the speed. I would think so. With Dan's Island and Doubtful Jack in the race, uh, they probably guarantee a nice, even, genuine tempo. Both horses roll along without being silly and... Uh, you know, someone might pull something out of left field, but uh, it won't worry her. She's that relaxed. She just switches off and takes it all in the stride. We'll talk continuing to grow about where she will head after her assignment on Saturday. Of course, Dubai firming up next month. Peter Moody was asked about that, and whilst the prize money and an appearance on the world stage is certainly something to look forward to, there's something else that's quite appealing for the trainer. The irresistible fact of it is it's halfway to Europe, where she's... Uh, where she's got to uh, travel to uh, and it's a long trip that trip I've done it a few times and some horses handle it some don't and uh, that, that's the attraction of it the negative and a big negative is she's away from home for too long and as her record continues to grow so does her stature on the world stage as Moody told us this morning the inquiry probably has come on a more worldwide scale this time uh, the local um, contingents probably dropped a little but the worldwide interest, uh, like I've got an American, I, I presume it's the American equivalent of Sky Channel TVN, uh, want to speak to me Saturday morning, which I don't know what time of the day or night will be over there. We've got a French television racing station coming next week to film some track work and do a bit of a story on her. And, uh, you know, the English and the Irish are always on the phone, uh, as are the Asian sort of media. So it's probably become more a world story this time round with the view that we're looking at Ascot. Well, she goes to 1,400 for the first time on Saturday. He's not scared about a mile. He was even asked about a Cox Plate. Oh, listen, I would, wouldn't doubt anything this horse could do. Um, whether we ever got to that extremity, you know, be questionable. But, uh, yeah, I think you'd be a brave man to doubt she could do anything. Moody was also asked about what his thoughts would be if at some stage in the future this winning streak ever ends. Listen, I get beat 20 or 30 times a week, so I think I'll handle it better than most. <laughs> So I'd be disappointed for racing in general. Uh, you know, we might lose our pop star. Listen, if she gets beaten, chances are it will happen one day. I don't think you can detract from what she's done or what she's done from the for the industry. But uh, uh, oh, it's not a, hopefully we don't have to find out. Eh? <laughs> well, that's been the word from Peter Moody here trackside at Caulfield. The countdown on until day one of the Festival of Racing on Saturday. Free entry, as we said, so it's going to be an outstanding day and we look forward to seeing you trackside.